hello everyone welcome back to the channel so this is episode number three of our ai object detector series so till now we have got the images from our camera and sent those images to the ai model and detected the object using the device camera so now in this video we are going to show a rectangle around the detected object and also show the label of the object so user can see it has detected the object and this is that object okay so if you are new to the channel please subscribe and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded and if you have not watched our previous episodes please watch them before continuing this video so let's start okay so here you can see that this is our camera view so before coming to this we first need to go to our Android app and in here we need to go to the build gradle so in our Android section we need to say AAPT options and in here we need to say no compress and TF light and no compress light okay make sure to add this setting in our Android section and just save it and close your file you can see this is our camera view and on returning this just wrap your camera preview with a stack widget so we can show the rectangle on it so the first child of this stack will be a camera preview and after that we will be using a container for the rectangle so for the decoration box decoration and after that border so the border will be from all sides and the color of the border will be color start green and also the width of the border will be 4.0 okay so this is our container here and now we need to set the height and width of this so which will be width and the width will be according to the width of the detected object so for now let's set 100 and height will be 100 also and if you want you can also add a border radius here so the border radius dot circular and from all sides it will be 8 okay so this is our border radius and we are done okay so now if you want to show the label here you can just um, use the child property of this container and you can say column and in this column children and now you can say that um, okay so here we want to say text widget and the text will be label of object okay so this is our first child of this column and the main axis size will be minimum and after that what do we want mm, let's also wrap this text with a container so the container and now we need to remove this constant and change the color of this container to colors dot white okay so this is done and let's also set the width to 200 and height to 100 okay so these are hard coded values but we will pass the dynamic value according to the detected object okay so now we need to go to our scan controller and in here let's create some variables so the first one will be x y w h which will be of double okay so after that let's also create a new variable which will be our label and it will be empty by default okay so we have created the variables and also the label and now let's come to this part and when we have detected the object we want to make sure that the detected object has some confidence means ai is sure that this is that object so we need to say if the detector and from this detector first and in here we need to say confidence 
in class and if the confidence in class multiply by 100 is greater than let's say 45 so if this is the condition only then we want to print this okay so let's just remove this thing as we are using our labels now so for the label and that will be equal to detector dot first and in here let's get a label and also set dot to string so we can get it and let's also set the width and height of our detected object which we can get using the edge is equal to detector let's create a variable so we don't have to pass this thing again and again so let's say var and our detected object is equal to detector dot first okay so instead of all this we can say our detected object and this will be our detected object okay so our objective our detected object and from here we can say rect and from this rect we want to get the value of h okay so same goes for the other values which will be w x and y so let's also change the variables which will be w x and y and after all this we want to update our widget okay so everything is done let's also update here okay so remove the inner one okay so let me confirm okay so it's not label it is detected class okay so i guess everything is done and now it's time to run the application so let's run this and wait for the run up okay so here you can see that this is our box which is 200 let's say 200 here so this is our box with 200 of width and 100 of height and here you can see the label so instead of label of object we want to show the dynamic label which is controller dot label and if we just save it You can see it is person written here so I hope you can see it as this is on the status bar so no problem and after that we need to set the height and width of this container so for the height and width let's say controller dot w and we need to say ta into 100 so it will just get everything and just save it okay so after that we need to say controller dot height and let's multiply it with 100 let's wrap this container in a position widget and in here we need to set the top so from the top it will be container dot y and we need to multiply it with 100 and from the um, let's say right and from the right i want to say controller dot x into 100 okay so after playing with the values here are the final values which works perfectly on my device and may work on your device too so here you can see the top is the controller dot y the one we set in our scan controller and multiplied it with 700 and from the right we multiplied the x value with 500 and set the width of our container as the width of the detected object and multiplied it with 100 and then multiplied that with the width of our device and divided the whole thing with 100 and same goes for the height but with the height property and here is the final output that 
it detects the area of the detected object properly so here you can see it is getting the detected mouse properly and it is for the keyboard and it is for the laptop okay so I guess everything is done and I hope you learned something new from this series if you did press that like button and subscribe to the channel see you in the next series till that Allah is